What's up guys? It's Corsha Lachelle and welcome back to the Cookie Chat. <laughs> Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Oh. Okay, welcome back to the cookie jar. So let's just give y'all a quick review. If y'all new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe so you can become a cookie because we edible and sweet around here. <laughs> My favorite cookie is a macaroon. If you are OG here, welcome back to the game. Um, this hair. This is from my hairline flame tress. This is a little dry because I ain't wet and done nothing to it. But this is my 24 inch. Y'all can't really see it. But this is my 24 inch deep curly unit. You can shop from me. Book with me. I am located in Charlotte, North Carolina if you want to book your install. But we're not going to pull on this intro. I miss y'all. I just figured I'd come and do a quick little sit down video with y'all of my favorite thing. So, um... Some of my favorite things, this is like the most randomest things that I could find around the house. A lot of my favorite things are not in this video because if it's my favorite thing, more than likely it's out. Yeah, let's just start with like the little personal stuff. My favorite color is orange. So I'm going to start with this. I love tea light candles, guys. Tea light candles are life for me. Like, and then I found these little tropical fruit candles. I don't know if I found them at Walmart or, or Dollar Tree. But I cannot wait to use these and light these. And tea light candles have been like my little favorite thing because you can just light a tea light and it lets all scents. And they're just really cute. How am I like my tea light candle? My orange lighter. The next thing that I like is my blunt holder or pretty puffer. You can shop. We sell these. My girlfriend sells these with Stem Queen Hookah. This is mine. This is one of mine. It's a very, very simple one. I have a collection of these. I have black. I have pink. I have all kind of different colors. But they're so pretty because it helps you to keep your nails pretty and your lips pink. Let's do like bath and high hygiene products. So this is my next favorite product, which is actually... Um, if we can get it it's peppermint soap so you guys probably know about the um not dr teal's it's it's the real name would be on the screen for it but this is the knockoff brand this is actually the aldi brand of this and it is peppermint pure castile soap i'm sorry not aldi it is by little y'all see that it is by little i just love this because when you wash and you put this on after you wash like your soap you your body wash y'all it just make your hoo-ha feel so so peppermintishy and all clean and stuff when you put this on before you about to get you some good top top or whatever okay to you but you put this on and that your whoever your significant other is they use that mouthwash that little minty combination together I'm telling you it's about to be everything put this on let's go to the next for bubble baths this is one of my favorite dr tills restore and replenish with pure epsom salt and essential oils i absolutely Love this Dr. Tills bubble bag. Okay, so we just, this, like I said, this is so random. Just stuff that I could find around the house that I wanted to share with you guys. After I get out my bath or my shower or whatever, I got to get me some whipped shea butter. This is from, uh, this is 100% African shea butter. This is from J&J &J bracelets or J&J &J cosmetics. I will link them in the description box below. But they customized me this, whipped it up, and put it in the jar for me. They're my little cousins. Y'all, they are children. When I say children, babies, they're both under the age of 10. But they make cosmetics and they make shea butter. So make sure y'all support them. Their link will be in the description box below. But I just love this. Like, I put it on my lips. See? I like my girlfriend. Her feet was a little crusty. Yeah, I like to kid you not. We put this on there for two days straight. Put you some socks on when you get out the tub promise you your feet gonna feel like a smooth as a baby's bottom and if you have stretch marks on your stomach when i had my baby y'all i didn't get stretch marks at all throughout my pregnancy i got stretch marks after i had my baby and i started putting shea butter on and my stretch marks went away of course i have still have like some light lines now from weight gain but if i show y'all pictures of my stomach before i gained my weight before moving here like i had absolutely no stretch marks that's because i used 100 percent african shea butter so this next product guys you guys can skip forward probably about 15 seconds, okay? But if you're a girl, this is for you. I personally have a tilted uterus and tampons, y'all, they are so painful for me. Um, do I want to use tampons? Yes, I really, really do just because of the convenience and it's neater, cleaner. And you can just pop it in, throw it away. But unfortunately, the way that my body is set up, I cannot use tampons. So I use pads. 
I use the Always Infinity Flex Foam Pad. And by the way, this is not a sponsored video. This is just y'all, me telling y'all some of my favorite things. These, I use the Always Infinity Flex Foam Pads. And another thing about my period, my cycle does not cut off in water. So even if I take a bath or take a shower, my cycle does not cut off. So just because I have some issues going on in that area that you know, I won't talk about. That's why I can't wear tampons. So I love a comfortable pad. Um, I did try these pads by Hi Ho that were like reusable pads. Not gonna lie, the concept of reusable pads saves a lot of money, but I just personally could not get past the fact of I'm washing a pad in my washer and yeah, it was just too much. So I like my Always Infinity Flex Foam. This is what they look like. I normally get the ones with the wing on it. But my girlfriend um, went and got these this time and she did not get the ones with the wing. I'll look. And you can literally put these on overnight or if you're working all day. And this little thing will hold your cycle. If you have a heavy flow, they have like heavier flow pads. But I love my Always Infinity pads. I've been using Always Infinity since probably, what? I, I discovered them in high school, like my freshman year of high school. And I have not turned back. My little diffuser. I love this little diffuser. I got it from $10.00. From Gabe's, it has a little pocket right here that you put your little oil on and you just pop it up in there. You can use oh, whatever essential oil you want here. I think this is vanilla and um, lemon mix. I just love natural stuff. And then it got a little button that you turn on and it just starts to come up out of here. It's battery operated and it also has a cord on it here too. So I have a big thing of these crystals, but these are the samples that were sent to me. So I'm gonna show you guys these. These calming crystals are everything. This is their card. I'll also link them in the description box below. But I love just putting these in the shower and like, oh my God, when I'm taking a bubble bath, I'll put them around the bathtub and drop like some water on the, um, the little crystals so they can melt. You can also boil them, but they just soothe you and they calm you. So if you ever have anxiety, these little crystals are everything. I'll put their information in the description box below get you some of these if you deal with anxiety if you deal with stress or really if you just deal with any type of something that makes you go below your medium or above your medium this will keep you at your medium all right next thing my tea my favorite tea is this tea right here it's just peace tranquility i love my tea that's that peace tranquility Y'all can't even go get these in the store anymore. They close the tea behind the stores down, y'all. So I'm trying to hold on to these little baggies of tea because I can't go buy this tea no more because tea behind the closed. But they come in these little cute little bags, y'all. Hold on, let me try to get it out. Look at it. Look at that little bag. And it smells like freaking peach heaven. Oh my God, literally. But I mix this in with a little bit of that, that peach tea juice. I'm not not the peach juice. I mixed in it with the peach, cream, cream peach, cream peach. Yeah, cream peach. I don't like anything cream. Mixing it with some cream peach and a little bit of, little bit of uh, honey, girl. Best tea gets you going. This is my, my happy place. So I normally buy lashes from like, you know, a small business or whatnot. But sometimes I can get to my small businesses or... I just need something quick. So I gotta go run to the hair store. These lashes right here, the V-Lux lashes, real mink lashes. For the past probably six months, the lashes that y'all seen me with, they have been by them and I got them from the hair store and they $9 and you can literally wear them up to 20 something times. Get you some. My favorite alcohol is mango Syrah. Get you some. I ain't gonna take no shadow on camera. My skincare things, Mario Badescu. Yeah, I already know I love my Mario Badescu rose water. I got makeup on right now. I ain't got no lashes on, y'all. Let's appreciate my lashes growing back, but whatever. Love my Mario Badescu. You can put it in your hair. I'm running low, so while we was in New Orleans, right? Bam! My baby got me this little package right here that I'm actually about to open. So I thought I was about to open it. I'm gonna open it. And it comes with a rose water. Oh, sorry. Sage and orange blossom. Y'all see that? Come on, sage. Okay, I won't focus. Sage and orange blossom. This one has chamomile and lavender. This one is the herb and rose water one that I always use. Y'all see that on my channel all the time. And last but not least... It is cucumber and green tea. So I cannot wait to use all of these because I just love the Mario Badescu Rose Water. I, I know I'm going to love the other products, but I'm going to somehow 
incorporate these into my regimen. I might put my diffuser on, throw me some of my little soothing crystals into the shower tonight, put my little lavender spray on, and have me a little relax tonight tonight after I wash my face with my apricot squirrel. Absolutely love this. Outside of Charm Bath and Body Face Mask, this is the only other thing I use on my skin, like face-wise, like cleansing-wise. I cleanse with this and I do my Charm Bath and Body Face Mask, which I don't have here with me right now. But I gotta find it because those are my favorite face masks. Hold on. And I'm back. Here we go. Charm Bath and Body Turmeric Face Mask. This is one of them. Why am I my stuff funkin'? So there we go. Turmeric face mask. So, my favorite fragrance of all time is my Chanel Mademoiselle. That Chanel Mademoiselle. Actually, I'm running low, so. So, I'm gonna get the beat by the next time. Let me spray it low. Oh! All right. Favorite foundation, Fit Me Foundation. Gotta get some more Maybelline. Y'all gonna go ahead and sponsor me. Cause period. This is an empty ass box. This is how y'all know this is my favorite server. And this is my favorite person besides my son in the whole wild world. Me and my baby. So yeah, there y'all have it. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Last thing, favorite conditioner and shampoo, coconut curls. Bam, all right. So those are my favorite things. This video was 14 minutes, about to be 15 minutes by the time I finished talking. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. It's your girl back rolling. Let me know what videos y'all wanna see, what content y'all wanna see, what story times y'all wanna see. Make sure y'all follow y'all girl on the gram because if I ever disappear again, you can find me and keep in contact with me there. Participate in my polls and my questionnaires or whatnot or whatever. Stay on the lookout because your girl gonna be on the big screen soon, period. And that's on there, okay? It's your girl, Question Lachelle, checking in, checking out from the cookie jar. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out, y'all. Mm. And if you ask anybody where I live, the point to the hills and say.